been working with the global context. In this flow, we're going to use the global context to record how many seconds elapse between random ejections initiated by the delay node. To start, we're going to pull out an inject node, a debug node, two function nodes, and a delay node, and wire them all together. In the first function node, we're going to call it creating a saving start time. And in the body, we're going to use the context feature, dot global start time. And we're going to create a new date object, and which gets the time. So this saves the time when the program started to the global context, which we can access from other outside nodes. So we're going to click done and double click on the delay node. In the delay node, we're gonna set the action to random delay between one and five seconds. In the second function node, we are going to name it time elapsed. And first we're gonna create a variable that stores the current time. So we're gonna create another date object and get the time. Now we're going to calculate the time elapsed by subtracting the current time by the context.global.start time. And then we're going to set the message payload for the string, keep it nice and pretty, add the time elapsed plus seconds. And now we're ready to deploy. And now we're going to inject. And we see the time elapsed on the debug console. 